I want to show a method I use to write a whole lot of values to my Allen Bradley PLC. I know you can do this in RS Logix by exporting the tags and logic comments, but it exports a CSV and I find it kind of a pain to use. So uh, with this, you can be very precise about the uh, things that you want to write in those um, to those tags. And if you make a mistake, it's really easy to go back and uh, change your mistake and, and rewrite the values again. Um, and of course, this is easier than entering all those things by hand into your controller. So uh, I'm using, I'm going to use Ignition. Uh, I use this all the time on projects where we're not even using Ignition uh, because it has a free two-hour trial that you can reset indefinitely. So um, there's a lot of scripting components in there that are useful for manipulating tags and stuff like that in your controller. So where we're going to start um, is in RS Logix. Uh, I have a user-defined data type. It has different uh, parameters. Description is what we want to change here. You can see that they're all empty. Uh, in here. And so I want to just filter out everything else except for just that data type that I want. So I'm going to select analog here and then I'm going to select everything in there and copy it out. Wait for it to finish. Go back to Excel. Copy that. Now I have a nice list of all the tags and I know that they're exactly what I have in my controller. Let me go back and paste this in the tag column over here. I'm going to make sure my parameter matches exactly what it is. In the, uh, in the controller, which is dot description. Uh, full path, you should probably just be able to leave this alone. And then in values is where we're going to put the things that we actually want to write. So I actually have an IO list where I already have all my, value, my descriptions. So I'm just going to copy that out and put it back. And uh, that was in alphabetical order, and so is this. So it should all match up. Last things that you need to check uh, are the PLC name. This needs to match exactly what you have uh, configured in Ignition as well as the name of your OPC UA server in Ignition. So we'll go check those things real quick. So uh, in Ignition, down at Devices, we see he's PLC1. So remember, he needs to be in brackets in the Excel sheet. And then we'll just check the OPC UA server, make sure his name is exactly. So I think this is default is Ignition OPC UA server. That's what I have here. So now that we have everything in here, um, we can go to we'll start at this line and we'll copy out what we want. We'll go back to Ignition and in the designer, if you go to Tools, Script Console, delete anything else out of there, copy in what you want, sorry, paste in what you want, hit Execute. We see it starts writing all those values. And uh, in this window, I have it, uh, this, this little object made so that it shows the descriptions up here in the top right. We see that those are all populated. And again, this is writing to the controller. It's not writing to a tag in Ignition. Uh, so this is just reflecting that. And we can go back to our controller and expand one of these and see there's our description. Uh, I'll put this document uh, in the description of the video so you can download and use it. If you had a different parameter, of course, you would just change this parameter here to whatever you want, and it'll reflect there. You just bring that down, and you put the values in there, and then, of course, you copy that and paste it again. If you have any questions, you can email us at info at skatatorch.com, and uh, be sure to check out our website to uh, see what we're all about. Thanks.